I was actually just talking to my, uh, on a podcast that we just did recently, we were talking about how they were shifting the like, yeah, PMI. If you plug your podcast one more time, they're going to have to pay me. <laughs> and a conversation that I was having just recently. Uh, yeah, yeah. With <laughs> on YouTube is we were talking about that they were shifting the BMI number higher in children. Like, what is that? Because now the BMIs are getting higher. So now we have to shift the scale higher. And we know the BMI is a garbage stat. It's anyway. so dumb, but like, it's just a principle. Do you know what I mean? It's so stupid. I don't know. But, but that is, but you will also see that, you know, if children are quote unquote overweight, you know, as they're in their adolescent stage, that will continue throughout their lifespan. It just will, you know, it's just how their genes get expressed and it's just how that their, their bodies just, you know, deal with, with how they're, you know. And, and again, when we talk about, you know, children being overweight, adolescents being overweight. Yeah. You're depriving that child of really living their best life. thousand percent. When you're overweight, you don't feel the best. No. Nope. Right? Like, um, you know, I, I had some recent things come up where like I didn't work out for like maybe a, four or five days. I was eating yeah. differently. Yeah. Um, prior to that, like my abs were showing. I, this is like like a week. Right? You, I, I had some, yeah. you know, some stuff in life that comes up. Um, in my last podcast, like I had this, like, you know, if I flexed it, I had a six pack. <laughs> I don't, but you know what I'm saying? So like right now I'm like, yeah. My barometer for me, I'm like, I don't even, and I'm not even that, you know, heavier. Right, right. But if I'm 13, 14, 15, and I'm overweight, like male, female, whatever gender, listen, you're insecure. You're insecure anyway at that age. Now Absolutely. you have to deal with that. You're tired. Mm -hmm. Like, again, your brain's not going to be functioning optional constantly when you're eating that stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a crisis, but it's also a crisis in like, you're setting the foundation for what you want to be. Yeah, thousand and, percent. And like you said, if you keep, going down that road, man, yeah. like you're going to be seeing a PT very early. Yeah. Yeah. Right. One of the, one of the things in, especially in PT and you've probably seen this, listen, if I have a patient who's 250 and they're overweight, there's not much I'm going to do to stop that pain. I could stop it for a little bit, sure, but I'm not making any changes yeah. until you lose the 50. And that's that whole health approach that we were talking about. Like it needs to be more than just physical therapy. You know what I mean? It needs to be like, Hey, listen, man, you know, in order to help you, we also have to do X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? And that, yeah, you don't do it all at once, but that's where it becomes the skill is to say, all right, I know you well enough now where it's like, let's pick away at these other things and just make you overall a better person. You know what I mean? Which of the normal model now can't happen. No, but in your model, in my I model, it can, in your model, it can. That's right. And, and I think that's where you're going to start seeing the shift. You know, I honestly think in the next 10 years, you're going to start seeing models like ours. And then you're going to see like big corporations like your ATIs and your, you know, whatever professionals, whatever, you know, even your base states are in that category because it's a big corporation of physical therapy clinics. It's a mill. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to get the PT that you deserve, right? It's just not going to happen, right? Do you, do you think healthcare should be free for everybody in America? No. But I think, well... <laughs> You want to jump down now? I, I, I think that. You said I could ask for anything I want. You, that, this is true. This is true. I, I don't think it should be free because I think people will take advantage of the system. Well, we already take advantage of the system and stuff isn't already free now. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think that you can provide the same type of care to every single person. You just can't, you know? And I think that, um, like, for example, like you and I, we bust our butts to create the life that we wanted for ourselves, right? That gives me the ability to say, hey, I'm going to go, you know, have my out of network provider. Like my, I got my doctors out of Tennessee, my coach is out of Florida, my other coach is out of California. I've worked hard for that. You know what I mean? And I deserve that. I'm up. I maybe deserve not the best word. No, it is. But okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but like, I feel like I've earned that and I have the ability to do that. Right. But you think that somebody that is like, eh, fuck it. I'm just going to just not work. I don't really care. I'm just going to keep on collecting this unemployment crap that we still got going on. You think they should get free health care? I don't know. Like, I'm kind of like, if you're not contributing to the system, maybe it's just good the way it is. I, I don't know. Like, there's no, I don't think there's a right answer right now for health care, but I do believe it can't be free. It doesn't work in every country. And that's the reason why a lot of people have dual citizenship. We have people that come from Canada to have surgery down here. Because they'll wait two years to get surgery up there because it's universal health care. Yeah. I think that's a hard topic, right? I just it's very hard to get you, your thoughts on it. Um, you know, for me personally, I think if, again, you'd have to switch to preventative. Yes. Right? Because, like, if it was reactive health care and, and it, it was free, you couldn't sustain it, first of all. Yeah. No. All your providers would be leaving. Yes. 
thousand right? percent. Because like your providers would not get reimbursed. You'd have three times the amount. However, I would like to see a system where like, okay, this is, this is your basic health care for everybody. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, but we're also going to help keep you accountable to it as well. Right? So yep. there's some things you'd have to do to get that health care. Sure. Right? So if it's not money, That's if right. you can't pay that, okay, maybe you, you check in with your health coach. Right. Right. And you're right. eating better. Like you can do the value, something like that. But then there's these other options like, okay, well now you can pay. Now you can pay and get these other services. Yep. Right. So everyone, yep. everyone has the basic level. Right. So we right. don't want to turn anybody away. Right. But now you can be there's like, tears. there's tears to it. Yep. And I think, I mean, that's unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Like, what are you going to do? Right. And in, in Massachusetts, we have universal health care. Is, can you, can you, yeah, yeah. This? okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sing and dance while trying to steal English patients. See, when you're an entrepreneur, you do many things. So Chad is selling some supplements now to a client, which is pretty cool to see. He didn't offer me any, any, so we won't plug his products. I think, um, it's kind of, it's kind of fun to see, like our businesses are very similar. Yeah. If we have the supplements, we have, <laughs> it's very similar. It's kind of cool to see it coming from, uh, two different directions. Cause you're still in PT doing right. it. Right. And I'm in like the fitness. But that scene. guy, that guy, perfect example. I met that guy in the gym like two weeks ago. Yeah, because looked, of the way you look. Yeah. That was what saying. He cooked me. He was like, hey, you, uh, you work in physical therapy? I'm like, yeah, man. He goes, you're a pro form right next door? Yeah. Like, they don't even ask me if I own it. And if the funny part is, is like, if you looked at my guy, Nick, he's like the model, the poster child for physical therapy. So when they come in here, they're like, oh, how long have you owned this place for? And I'm like, I'll sit there. And I'll they ask him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They probably think you're the age. They think, yeah, exactly. I'm the help. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of funny, actually, because that's just the way it is, you know?